I'm Ryan Savaldi. And I'm Tyler Gerner, and this is the Tug of Talk Show. We've got a lot of hot topics lined up today. We've got our Super Bowl predictions. We've got whether the Lightning are going to make the playoffs or not. But first, let's start off with the NBA MVP race. Westbrook. I'll go hard on this one. Uh, Houston, much better record. They beat OKC in the matchup. Harden has five 50-point-plus triple-doubles. Uh, he's just been much better overall. That he's carried the team. OKC has been losing more and more. Uh, but we're talking about an individual. I mean, Westbrook has 24 triple-doubles. That's more than uh, Harden, LeBron James, and Draymond Green combined. He's obviously being the best player in the NBA. He's definitely not slacking off just because Kevin Durant's gone. Their team is 28-21, not a fantastic record. But I mean, that is true, but in the NBA MVP voting, the big carrier is team record. In yeah, OKC right now, it looks like they've and then they're struggling an individual. for even getting top It's an individual eight. thing. It is an individual award, but it's about who's most viable to their team and how that has created team success, which OKC is not very, very strong. Well, we'll see how that one unfolds. Yeah, still have some more time to see we'll the rest see. of the season. We'll see about that. All right, Tampa Bay Lightning. They make playoffs. I, I'm, I'm, I got faith in the Lightning. I'm going to say they make the playoffs. Uh, they're way too far down. I go a solid no on that. 13th in the conference. you got to be obviously top eight to make the playoffs. I do not see that happening at all. I think just based off last year's uh, you know, second half of the season after the All-Star break into the playoffs, they're definitely not going to slack off. There's no slouch of a team towards the end of the season. They've got a decently easy schedule coming up. They've got Anaheim. they got Ottawa. Easy teams. They beat them in the past earlier in the season. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't this part of the season. And Stamkos is coming back. They're getting all their injured players back. There's no reason they don't make that playoffs. That is true. That is true. All right. What do we think about Super Bowl? Super Bowl? Big game. I, I think this is pretty obvious. I definitely go Patriots on this one. Uh, just to start off, Roger Goodell. You already know how that matchup's going to be. Brady's going to not only win to win the Super Bowl and against the Falcons, but so Roger Goodell, what is up after trying to screw over the Patriots? Absolutely not. I think the Falcons' offense is way too dynamic. The Patriots have a better defense. They've been shutting down. Belichick knows how to coach his team. He's second half experience. of the season. Second half of the season, Falcons and their takeaway percentage is wildly exceeding every other team. Their offense is too high-powered. Devonta Freeman, Tevin Coleman, too many weapons on that team. Julio Jones is going to score at least two touchdowns. They're just too dynamic. Patriots went 11-1 and one with Tom Brady over the regular season. Once they got Tom Brady back, Belichick knows how to coach him. The defense, we already know, dynamic in all ways. They'll know how to stop the run and the pass. They can shut down both running backs. To me, it seems easy. Falcons defense will struggle stopping Tom Brady. Now I'm not trying to discredit Tom Brady, the Patriots organization, but I believe the Falcons will win comfortably in a 34-25 victory. I say the Patriots will win. I think it might start off a little close, but I'll go with a solid 10-point win for the Patriots. Easy. Well, we'll see how all our predictions line up, and that's all we have for you. Ron Spalding. Tyler Derner, and this was the Tug of Talk Show.